Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna share with you 10 incredible cheapies for men. These are super sexy, they're all under $30, and they will definitely get you compliments, they will definitely get you noticed. And I'm doing this countdown style since you guys seem to really love a countdown. So we're gonna start with number 10, and it is 4711, the original, this is super duper cheap. This is like, I think you can find it for like 12 bucks. It comes in all kinds of volumes. This is like a bitter citrusy fragrance. It's mostly Neroli. So if you like Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino, you're gonna love this as well. It's a herbaceous bitter citrus scent, super refreshing, but the longevity is poor. It is a cologne. It is meant to be super light. It's meant for you to spray it all over your body, but it does smell very classy. And as far as I know, this was Napoleon scent and he basically bathed in it. So if you want to smell like Napoleon, you go for 4711. On number nine is Ferrari's Noble Fig. I'm eating my words, you guys. I used to hate this fragrance, but it really grew on me. It's a really sexy kind of milky green fig scent. It's super refreshing. It really shines in the summer. And you can get a big bottle like this for 30 bucks. It is such a steal. This smells like it could be a niche scent. It's got a little bit of sage. It's got a little bit of pepper, patchouli, but this like undeniable figgy like milkiness. Like if you like Diptyque's Philosicos, but you want something a little bit more green and like refreshing, this would be it. It's actually a really well done fragrance. I'm so impressed that this came from Ferrari because like who would think like Ferrari makes good fragrances, but they do. And their lavender fragrance is really good too. You'll get a proper six hours out of this, which is a really, really good value for a $30 bottle. Number eight is Jeffrey Bean's Gray Flannel. This one comes in a little flannel pouch. It's a really nice presentation. And this has a really kind of soapy, but bitter opening. So it has galbanum, which gives it this like bitter herbaceous kick, but then it settles into like a powdery soapy fragrance. The violet is so prominent in this fragrance. And then you get the oak moss and the dry down. Like this one really transitions. This one smells really high quality. It is a man smell. Like this is not for boys. This is for men with mustaches. This smells like also very, very clean. Like it's a bitter, clean, herbaceous, powdery scent. It's really unusual and it's super sexy. And the performance on this will take you through the day. Like it will last you the whole day. It'll last you at the very least eight to 10 hours and it does leave a huge trail. Everyone will smell it. It projects really, really well. So for the price point, this fragrance is insane. On number seven is Latafa Ragba. This is an amazing intro to oud. This one is like a sweet oud fragrance. It has vanilla, it has sugar oud, it has a little bit of smokiness from incense, and this smells like it could be one of those very expensive oud fragrances. It's very smooth, it's a little, like just a little bit smoky, super sexy, really masculine. And this would be perfect for cold weather. This is a very assertive fragrance. And this one too performs really, really well. Like this bottle will cost you 30 bucks and it will last you the entire day. And it's a super sexy oud scent. Number six is Mont Blanc Individual. This one is a fruity bonanza of everything. This has herbs, this has rosemary, it has mint, it has raspberry, it has lavender. It's like a little bit sweet very fresh out of the shower sexy scent this one is super super cheap and it smells a lot like creed's original centel very refreshing very kind of zingy and uplifting perfect for the summer perfect for the hot weather playful sexy you will get attention with this one so that is on number six Mont Blanc makes amazing fragrances. On number five is Mont Blanc Explorer. This one came out in 2019. It smells a lot like Aventus, which I'm sure you guys already know about this fragrance. This is like a fruitier, friendly, kind of like Aventus dupe, but it's actually really refreshing. I'm already kind of getting tired of Aventus, but I actually really like Mont Blanc Explorer. It's a really likable, easy to wear fragrance, and you can get a smaller bottle for about 30 bucks. So like, because it's a newer release, it's not super cheap. So you're not gonna get 100 mil for 30 bucks, but you are gonna get a 30 mil for 30 bucks. It is a really, really nice scent though, and it will get you compliments. Aventus is known to be the compliment king, and it doesn't matter what my personal opinion on that fragrance is, 
it does seem to be a compliment monster and a huge crowd pleasing fragrance and Mont Blanc Explorer is right up there i actually prefer it over club de nuit intense for men from armov that one's a little bit too smoky and harsh mont blanc explorer is just like it's right on number four is rocha moustache get the eau de parfum not the eau de toilette they smell different the eau de parfum is a really warm vanilla woody fragrance with patchouli it smells a lot like ysl's tuxedo it's a very sexy warm masculine scent it's perfect for the cooler weather it does have a little bit of this pepper kick in the opening and then it dries down to just a very rich enveloping warm vanilla scent it's gonna make people want to come closer to you this is for a man with a mustache like a serious man that's what this smells like this is this is tom Selleck. that's what i always say this this fragrance is tom Selleck, and it's probably because it's just called mustache that I have that association, but legitimately, I feel like this is what Tom Selleck would smell like. And that's a very good thing, by the way. Number three is Rocha Man. Questionable presentation, I know, but the scent is so sexy. This one smells like Maison Margiela's coffee break, but like a manlier version. So it's less sweet, it's less coffee. This one has a cappuccino note, but I get a lot more of that lavender and it's like very fresh, uplifting, almost like creamy lavender. The cappuccino is less about the coffee note or more about like a milkiness. It smells so good. This massive torpedo, we'll call it that, is gonna cost you about 30 bucks as well. Super amazing value, decent longevity, but you are gonna get a lot of compliments and this smells incredible. Number two is Versace blue jeans. Yes, if you guys couldn't tell by now, I'm obsessed with my lavender vanilla combinations. And this one, oh my God, like this one I smell and it just like makes my eyes roll back. Like this one is something else. It has a lot of different notes. And yes, the formulations have made it less potent and all those things, but it's still incredible. And you can find this for $20. It has a little bit of like a, like a citrusy sweet opening, a little bit of juniper, a little bit of basil. It gives us very refreshing, uplifting scent. It smells so unique. This is one of the best Versace fragrances and every man needs to have this. Like this is a cheapie that you absolutely need to get. Ladies love it, trust me. And this is for like younger and older. Like it's perfect for anybody. You can wear it when you're in high school. You can wear it when you're 50 and it'll smell just as sexy. If you bathe in this, it will be no problem. You can overspray it all you want and it won't offend anybody. Everyone's just gonna love you. And number one, of course, no surprise, Boss Bottled Intense. This is the Eau de Parfum that I have. This is Sexy Man Apple Pie, but not in a gourmand way, like not in an edible sweet way. This is still super manly, like it still smells like a cologne. It, ladies love this. All my friends absolutely love this on men. It has a freshness and like light woody quality about it, but it still has a very, very refreshing apple note, but not a synthetic candy-esque apple, no. This has cinnamon, this has clove, it's got some sexy man spices. Mmm, it is incredible. It has a very subtle, smooth vanilla, and then you have all of the nice woody notes there in the base, but you know what? Like This one actually is pretty linear, start to finish. It smells about the same. Maybe not the most out of this world longevity, but definitely the best scent. Like This one just smells incredible. It is definitely better for cooler weather, but you can still pull it off in the summer. I would say go for the Eau de Parfum only because it'll be a little bit stronger, but any of the Boss Bottled series really are super sexy. This is my personal favorite one, but they're all amazing. And they are all pretty affordable. You can find them for around the $30 mark. So that is it. Those are my top 10 sexiest cheapies for men under $30. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite cheapie is and I'll definitely check it out. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. We have lots of fun fragrance content here and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!